Are $200 running shoes faster than $90 running shoes? Today I'm testing the $90 New Balance 1080 V11s versus the $200 Nike Vaporfly Next% 2s. I'm going to be doing three rounds of 400 meter repeats, alternating shoes each time. Round one, I started with the New Balances. I came in at 1 minute 12 seconds. Then I swapped shoes, put on the Nike Vaporflies. The Nikes came in at 1 minute 9 seconds, 3 seconds faster. Round two, the New Balances came in again at 1 minute 12 seconds. And the Nikes came in slightly faster at 1 minute 11 seconds. I'm starting to get a little bit tired, but this is where the real test begins. Round three, the New Balances came in at a time of 1 minute 15 seconds. Definitely my slowest rep so far. Swap shoes one last time. The Nikes came in faster again at 1 minute 11 seconds. The Nikes were the clear winner. They definitely felt faster as they have a carbon plate and they're a little bit lighter. Make sure you're wearing shoes that are fit for your running experience and your running goals.